Chief Justice Mukweng Mukweng has come out in favor of African traditional system and residents in Ladysmith area in the northern KwaZulu Natal are busy rebuilding their houses after a gale falls wind on Christmas Eve. Chief Justice Mukwe Mukweng has come out in favor of recognizing the African traditional justice system in rural areas. Mukweng was speaking at the funeral of the late judge president of Land Claims Court, Fikile Bam, at Gongwa village in Tule in the Eastern Cape. Bam died in Mill Park Hospital in Johannesburg last week. Mukweng Mukweng elaborated his views. The African traditional justice system which is steeped in simple, practical, and restorative justice, designed to mend relationships strained by crime rather than damage them further, needs to be embraced rather than relegated to an historical footnote. Serious attention also needs to be paid to reintroducing the possibility of a perpetrator of crime being punished for his crime, while at the same time, being ordered to restore to the victim of crime what was lost through the commission of that crime where possible. This is a virtue that lies at the heart of the African traditional system. Shell expects full availability to improve in Houting retail service station during the course of this week. The company's Albertin Fuel Depot is fully operational again after it was shut down two weeks ago because of leak. Motorists are expecting petrol shortages in Twane metro area around Pretoria. Mabupane businessman Itumile Nwako says the interrupted petrol supply has negatively affected his traveling arrangements and business operations. As a motorist, then it's, it's highly frustrating and disturbing because every time when we travel, we don't have a petrol station from Maupan, from my place to my mom's place. It's the only two places here at Hamaskral. Then it's causing us a half walk and highly disturbing, particularly we as business people. A Serbian man convicted of three counts of murder in his home country has handed himself over the police in Belleville, Cape Town. Hawks spokesperson Makin Tosh Polela says police are investigating how the man managed to enter South Africa in 2007 using a passport with a false name. Polela says the man has been sentenced to 35 years in prison in Serbia 11 years ago after he murdered two people and wounded a civilian who later died in a hospital. This guy's real name was um, Dobrosav Gavrich, a man who was uh, convicted in Serbia in absentia for killing three people in 2000. And on doing our investigation with the Serbian authorities, uh, we were able to ascertain that Kova Savic was uh, indeed uh, Dobrosav Gavrich. And uh, today he has been arrested um, in Cape Town. He's expected to appear before a magistrate tomorrow on an extradition request from Serbia. Residents in the Ladysmith area in the northern KwaZulu Natal are rebuilding their homes after a gale force wind on Christmas Eve destroyed the hundreds of dwellings. Mayor Vincent Madlaga says a storm with villages both near mountain slopes and in low lying areas. He says they are visiting the west hit areas. The municipality's disaster team is currently supplying the victims with black plastic sheets, poles, and metal sheets to help victims cover their damaged shacks and housing units. Meanwhile, an informal settlement known as Rimfas Mark in Osuren has experienced storm water challenges. The heavy rain and hailstorm has left holes on the streets. The municipality is currently sloping the streets and we are going to give assistance where necessary.